My name is Mr. Lovins. I am the advisor for the newspaper, the yearbook, the website, um, and I work with all the student publications. Um, I am also a teacher for beginning journalism, and I also teach English here at North. So with our introduction classes, you get elective credits. Um, you earn arts credits once you make it onto our yearbook, newspaper, and immersive media class. There's also the chance to earn some technical credits with Bulldog News Network. They earn some uh, credits through the C4 pathway so that you're able to learn more about television and radio through that class as well. So we offer a variety of different journalism classes. We have our intro classes, beginning journalism and photojournalism, and in those classes you learn some of the basics about storytelling, whether that's through writing, design, photography. We look at all different areas of storytelling that help to culminate you for experiences on the different staffs. We have publications that work in the print media such as our newspaper and our yearbook. We have some that work more in the digital space like our website and social media and then we also have some that work more in the community for public relations um, as well as our uh, visual component as well with the uh, Bulldog News Network. My name is KJ Ely and I am a senior. I am on Yearbook Triangle and Immersive Media. My favorite part about your book is probably meeting so many new people because you just get to contact so many different people and you get to learn so many different stories. You learn about a lot of different people and all their different aspects because the main point is telling people stories and you learn how to design, you learn how to communicate with others when you don't know who they are and you also get to learn how to take pictures so it's just everything, all of media in one. You can take an intro to journalism class. I did not take one, so I was kind of lost my first year. You definitely pick up with it really quickly and you learn how to manage everything. So mostly we have three editors, content, a photographer, and design editor. So those are the three people. That's Grace Chapman, Jordan Brady, and me. And then you, we have group leaders who lead smaller groups that people, like what, the people that don't know what they're doing in class they basically get all of our content and gather it and the group leaders put it all on the spreads and then the editors review it. So it just kind of is like a pyramid that works their way down. Um, I would definitely take an intro to journalism class because you can definitely learn a lot before you go into one of the staffs. Hi, my name is Molly Hotek. I'm a junior here at Columbus North and I am a student news producer for Bulldog News Network. So BNN is a very hands-on, student-driven class. It's our radio and television class, and it's the only of our media staffs that's both a C4 and a dual credit class. So in BNN, we produce three types of shows. We do our news show, which is weekly, and it covers more in-the-moment events that happen that week. Our mag show happens every two weeks, and that covers more in-depth stories like longer-lasting events around the community or personality profiles. And finally, every week we also do our weekly announcements. Those get played during advisory, and those cover things that are really pertinent to the school right now. And it's just a way to get information out to both students and teachers. In this class, we work with a lot of equipment that you would see on a potentially professional setting. We work with a lot of cameras and tripods, and we use a lot of Adobe software to edit our footage. My favorite part about BNN is seeing all of these segments come together. We start out with just a concept, a simple idea, and by the end, we have this fully formed project that looks very professional because we've run it through all of the settings. We've used all of our equipment to the best of its ability. We've used studio room, we've conducted interviews, we've really thought about the questions, and and we've produced this in-depth product at the very end. My name is Megan Allman. I am a senior at Columbus North and I am an editor-in-chief of The Triangle. The Triangle is a student news magazine that comes out about once a month or every six weeks. Um, we cover sports, student life, news, and opinion. Um, and we try to cover what is going on at the school or what will be coming up um, in the following weeks with each issue. So I am an editor, which means I kind of am one of the people who makes the final decisions on what will be published, uh, what stories we're going to be writing. Um, I edit all of the writing, so I kind of edit each story. I make suggestions for sources and angles, um, what topics we're going to be writing. And I just kind of make the final decision on what we will be writing about and what we're going to publish. 
So if you're planning to do journalism and get into Triangle, you just you need to be prepared to be able to work with people and to be able to kind of make decisions as a whole. Um, but it's definitely a really fun class and we all are really close, so it's definitely fun. My name is Mason Minnick. I'm a sophomore and I'm in immersive media. Immersive media is a class where students from all the other media classes can come in and work on their own projects or you could do project you could do uh, videos or projects with the community or school itself stuff like that uh, you mainly upload your videos or projects to the website or uh, the, the YouTube channel my favorite part of immersive media is making the videos with the community or the, the school which is what I mainly do I would say it's important for students to really consider their options and think about what sort of things interest them. When it comes to things like journalism, we do offer a lot of different areas that students can work with. Like I said, there's areas in visual communication, there's areas in written communication, um, and we do offer some other things that students work with in terms of how to tell stories about other students. So I would encourage students to really take a look at what interests them and what sort of things they want to be able to do because we love to tell people stories here in uh, CNHS Media. We love to be able to let students know some things about other students that are in the building as, as well as inform them about events that go on in their daily lives.